Now that we've taken all of our traverse shots and labeled them appropriately, starting out at point 205 and then going from traverse point 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 6, now we need to come down into this Adjust File menu, down into Traverse Adjust. Now I think we'll get too confused if we go using the To From button. I like to hit this drop down over here and tap the points. Now this is the pattern that emerged out in the field. This is the first point, so I'll click on that. And we started at point 204, rather, not 205, 204. And we connected to traverse point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then on to 6. So that's our object. That's what we want to close. So let's go ahead and hit the Enter button and use the compass rule. Hit Next. We want to close Traverse, so we'll hit Next. Now, it shows here our information. It says our, our linear error of closure, or our error distance, was .029. In that small of a Traverse, with the equipment we're using, I can understand that. And the precision was 1 in 6,500 feet for that size. I don't expect anything less. You can come down here and look at all of the remaining information. And then I click the adjust button, and it says, are you sure you want to adjust selected points? And I say yes, and hit done, and then those points are adjusted, and I can now transfer those points into AutoCAD. Okay, now that we've done those traverse points, and we've closed the traverse, and we have those coordinates, now we need to get that into the computer. So there are a couple of things we need to do. We need to download a template file from the website, an 11 by 17 template, and we also need to add some inserts or Lisp files into AutoCAD 2007. So I'm going to go to the Field Engineer website. You can also access the lift drawings section and the template file on the new website on one of these new web pages. But the main point is you need to download this title block template AutoCAD to your desktop. And then we need to open that up in AutoCAD 2007. Once that opens up, now we're going to add some Lisp files to the AutoCAD working environment or to this AutoCAD program on this computer. As a download from the website, there's this folder called HP Lisp Files. If you open that up, there's five specific files within that. I'm going to show you what you need to do. In AutoCAD 2007, you need to go to Tools, down to Auto LISP, Auto Lisp, and then Load Application. Left click. Once you have that, you're going to browse for those files. So I'm going to browse to my desktop, go into HP list files, and click on the first one and hit load, click on the second one and hit load, and you can see that up here on the command line that both of those loaded properly. Once that's done, I'm going into tools, down into options, go to files, the first tab, and then under support file search path, I'll expand that and go to add, and then hit browse, and I'm going to browse for those same files, the HP list files, double left click and hit OK, and then I'll hit Apply and OK. Alright, there are two commands now that are available to us. One of them is import XYZ. Hit Enter, and that will allow you to enter in coordinates from the data collector and then there's one that's called PO2TXT enter and that will allow you to export coordinates so since we've already done that traverse and we need to import those coordinates now let's go ahead and see how that would be done I have my data collector here I'm going to turn it on and plug the end of the cable into the computer
and then when Microsoft Active Sync this dialog box or window comes up I know that I'm connected I'm going to take my stylus and under the file menu I can export but first let's go ahead and view the points that I need to export so I'll go into job file menu and then into edit points what I want to export is 205 TP1 all the way down to TP6 these are adjusted coordinates now so I'm going to go back into file into export and what I want to do is export a CSV file I'll hit next I'll go ahead and hit tap points to tap the points I want to export so I want to export uh, TP6 TP1, TP2, 3, 4, and 5. And now I will hit enter, hit next. It's going to be a comma delineated file. Coordinate plane, US survey feet. I'll hit next. I want it to export as easting, northing, elevation, and in the description, I'll hit finish. And I'll go ahead and label this as traverse one and hit enter now it went ahead and saved that file I'm going to put this down let's go ahead and look on our computer screen here I'm connected with this device I'll go into explore I'll left double left click on my pocket PC I'll double left click on built-in storage I will double left click on survey pro jobs and then I will find the file that I just saved so it was traverse one CSV I'm gonna drag that onto my desktop alright now that we have the CSV file out here on our desktop we can close the active sync connection double left click on this what we need to do quickly is to delete the first row so that we don't have the name title and we can save that hit yes close it out now when we bring up AutoCAD I'm going to type in import XYZ hit enter I'm going to browse for the file on the desktop and that will be traverse one I'll hit open then I only want three spaces I just want the easting the northing and the elevation and so I'll hit get XYZ coordinates and then I'll hit OK and those will automatically import into the file and I can type in RE for regen and those are point nodes so I can type in PL and connect those and that is what our traverse object looks like outside